Clearance Golden Earth Samarat and Departure of the Same Railway. Um, if I can welcome all of you to the latest um, Mayor's Travel uh, Committee meeting. Um, first item on the agenda is obviously to vote many apologies for absence and everything submitted by Councillor Dodd and Councillor Fuller. Looking around the room, I think we've got 100% apart from that, so um, we can move on accordingly. Secondarily, Paul, to me, just to remind any members if you've got a declaration of interest to make, just to uh, declare appropriately either now or if it arises at the point in the meeting. Um, and before we, we move into the substantive um, business, there are a couple of quick points I was going to say. First and foremost, I'd like to put on record the committee's best wishes to our Director of Corporate Development, Liz Chandler. As many of you may know, Liz unfortunately broke her wrist earlier this week, so it's had to take some time off that operation to, uh, to make sure that's on the mend. But I'm sure we all wish Liz the very, very best for speedy recovery. It's a testament to her, how she was, and uh, we even had to ask her to go to hospital because she really was focused on doing lots of significant things, much of which we'll be talking about later. <laughs> right, okay. The other point I was going to uh, make also is uh, one of the members of the public in the gallery uh, has submitted a list of questions uh, to us just at the start of the meeting. What I was going to pro propose in how we, we deal with those is that I'll make sure copies of those are circulated amongst all the members and we'll obviously respond to each of the points in writing and I'll make sure that uh, those written responses are equally shared with all members of the committee as well. So without further ado then, if uh, the next item is the minutes of the last meeting, if I can um, Secure that those are an accurate record, if that's the case. Are we agreed? Wonderful. And item four is the long term rail strategy. Um, I'm trying to Thanks. 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 Thanks.
addition to the growth fund and developments from the growth fund, the one north proposal was launched by the Force of the back in August and is covered in a, a later report here. It's also identified that the city region commuter rail improvements are a key element of the proposition and the schemes that are contained in the strategy <coughs> need to be appraised in consideration of that and are part of one north implementation plan. Content of this strategy will be kept under regular review. This is intended to be something that we've done now, we've finalised on the shelf, and that's it. It will be kept under review and will be modified to reflect developments and modified to reflect progress on individual schemes and packages of schemes contained within that strategy. So, in, in conclusion, the Liverpool City Region Long Term Rail Strategy presents a bold vision intended to equip the city region with a modern railway, providing for an unnecessary step change in terms of quality, accessibility, speed, and connectivity. The strategy provides a pathway which ensures the objective level of future demand are depicted and accommodated, but more than that, it explains how latent demand can be opened up on the railway. Accessing an underpass market, reducing overall impact of part driving on the regional roads, and supporting it is not intended to just be rail schemes for the sake of rail schemes. It's intended to be rail schemes delivering and supporting economic growth and employment in the region. More than happy to take any questions in, in respect of the strategy. Thanks, Jack. I've got Ken and I've got Gordon. Thanks for that, Sean. Uh, first of all, I'd like to quickly apologise that. Such as everything we've been banging on, our, on the table for for many, many years, so thanks for that. Uh, another thing might be the same to this, but uh, the franchises that are on, the Northern and uh, Trans Pennine, etc., and uh, I believe the government has shown this that it gives a couple. Uh, now, with this group uh, speaking in the past of regarding go for a mutual, a cooperative or shared ownership and looking at network rail and also the East Coast Main Line and what they generate in surplus then goes back into the central pot to reinvest and enhance uh, that side of it instead of going into a shareholder's pot which then takes the money out of the system which is a loss to everybody uh, I'm rather concerned that you know what we envision, so what other people envision, is uh, it doesn't seem to be considered, or was that on the table for the Secretary of State to, to have a look at uh, when he was bringing these franchises into this? I'll answer the first bit and then I'll pass on to David. Go ahead and look at it. The, the principal intent behind this strategy is more geared towards infrastructure development rather than is towards concession or franchise or commercial developments with train operating companies. So this is intended to look at the schemes that we need to explore, develop and then deliver to improve rail across the Liverpool City region and its surrounding areas. It's not intended to look at the specifics of you know, franchise or concession or uh, commercial arrangements in regard to that. The other half of the question, um, the current government um, at the West Coast uh, main line franchising problem they had uh, did a review and then announced a uh, revised refranchising program for all the franchises, uh, which included an extension for uh, a short period of time, which is 
Beachwood Station. <laughs> Amazing 
Is there any anticipation of numbers actually falling because of the trains failing? If we've got stock that need extra servicing at this moment in time, and it does fail, people go with their feet and they tend not to go there if you let them down. So, you know, it, 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 it's nice to anticipate that it will continue to go up and up and up if it doesn't fail. If it does fail, there's a potential there to use other modes of transport.